Today, guys, I want you guys to grab your pen and your paper because today we're going to learn some stuff that's going to help you be successful. And Grady gave me a task. Was it last night? You're like, we're doing it. We're doing a podcast tomorrow. I'm like, all right, let me get some notes here. Let me get ready. Be prepared to give you guys great information. This is the seven steps to win. Hello, everybody. Grady Paulson, Family First Life America. Beyond excited to have Ryan Reynolds on the call today, one of the top telesales trainers in the, in the company, if not the entire industry. Um, his YouTube channel's got hundreds of thousands of views, and he's done a tremendous job at really mastering the basics of and, and, the, advanced, and the advancements of, tel, of selling insurance over the phone. And I remember when Ryan joined us uh, a couple years ago, he'd come from a decade of in-person sales. And he said, you know what? I've been doing this in person for 10 years now and I am want to switch to telesales. And I was like, Ryan, that's a terrible idea. No one, no one sells insurance over the phone. You have to do it belly to belly. You can't build trust without seeing person in the eyes and you're, you're, you're headed for a world of hurt. Well, what did I know? Fast forward a few months, Ryan's starting to protect 30, 40 families um, um, a month over the phone and is now fast forward a year and now he does it with ease and now he trains people on how to do it, guys. So um, beyond excited to have Ryan on here. He's building a team as well, tremendous team. Um, new writers are, are, uh, are starting to produce every single day working with him as well as people that are excited about their future learning about how to do this business correctly. So um, Ryan's a Jedi with his words and he's a masterful trainer. So I look forward to you enjoying this and also learning as well. So how you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Excited so, to have you. So yeah, today, guys, I want you guys to grab your pen and your paper because today we're going to learn some stuff that's going to help you be successful. And Grady gave me a task. Was it last night? You're like, we're doing it. We're doing a podcast tomorrow. I'm like, all right, let me get some notes here. Let me get ready. Be prepared to give you guys great information. This is the seven steps to win. Seven steps to win. So grab a pen and paper and we will get started here. So first step here, guys, get out of your own head, right? I think the number one reason why people don't start this is they overthink the process, right? This isn't rocket science. This is picking up a phone and moving your mouth. That's it. That's it. Pick up a phone, move your mouth. All the rest of it, stop thinking about it. You just got to press buttons in the phone and then talk. The rest of it you're going to learn as you go, so stop overthinking it, okay? Um, when I first started this business, I love the expression. I actually didn't want to get into sales. I was actually doing some video editing before, and I was like, man, I'm trying to have these sales guys. They suck, but I suck at sales. How do I get better at sales? Do the thing you fear, the death of fear is certain. So the first thing you got to do is get out of your own head and start. As soon as you do it, yeah, it's supposed to be scary at first. Uncomfortable stuff is where you get better, right? When I first started doing podcasts with Grady, we made that video about telesales, and I was, like, shaking up here, right? Now I got my own podcast, Rush Podcast, best podcast on the internet. You got to watch that one. It's good. And now I'm good. Now I'm good, right? So do the thing you fear, right? When you add something? And yeah. the death of fear is certain. Death of fear is certain. So um, telesales, first time I started doing that, I was nervous, too. I didn't sell anything right away. And then I got better by taking action, right? So on the other, other side of being uncomfortable is everything you want in life. If it's comfortable, you're going nowhere. If you're uncomfortable and you're shaking and you're fearful, good, you're on the right path because on the other side is everything you want in life, okay? This is simple. Dial the phone, move your mouth. Okay, so first one, get out of your head. Second one, memorize your script, okay? This is a job. It takes 40 hours. Yeah, it's going to take you 40 hours to know your rebuttals on the top, like, like spit them out right away when they come out. You don't have to think about it to look at a script. Memorize your script. So stop it with your one hour of studying. Get your 40 hours in and memorize your script, okay? Um, you know, you took 40 hours to pass your state test. That didn't teach you how to make money. Watching these YouTube channels, watching this video and going to look at your script and memorizing that thing, that's going to make you money. That's going to make you feel confident. When you're talking to your clients and you're reading your, your script for the first time because you were too lazy and did it for an hour, well, that's why you feel nervous. You're not, you know, you know in your, inside you're not being professional. You're just being greedy, right? So... Get your script memorized. Once you get it memorized, use bulletin points, okay? I think when you're reading from a script, you sound like you're reading from a script. I think you should get it to the point where you're just looking at bulletin points and flowing, and you should know your rebuttals on the top of your hand, okay? So that's number two, memorize your script. Any questions on that one? 
No, it's good. All right, number three. I mean, how long does it take to memorize a script? I mean, what do you, what do you suggest? Is it I until mean, you know it verbatim with your eyes closed? Or Correct, yeah. I mean, I mean, right, I read was, it through 25, 30 times, read it in the mirror? Yeah, I mean, when I was driving, you know, everyone's like, well, I need to do role play, I need to role play. Like, I didn't have anyone do role play, and I started. I was at 50% commission. There was no script. I had to make one. So I was writing down bulletin points in my car, looking at them and saying it, talking to myself while I was driving constantly, right? Okay. So just practice on your own. Um, and memorize that stuff. Talk out loud, obviously. Number three, action goals, right? Action means you're winning. If you're taking action, you're winning. If you're watching a bunch of YouTube videos, that's not action. So what's action? Picking up the phone and dialing, right? Recommend you start face-to-face -face and then go into telesales because that's a lot easier. Your first, once you practice and you got your script memorized, that's your first week studying. Your next week is booking 15 appointments minimum, okay? If you can't book 15 appointments, you need to quit right now. You're not ready. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your coach's time and go get a real job. Really setting 15 appointments, that's your action goal. If you can set 15 appointments, everything else is going to fall in place. Start there. That's it. That's a win. If you don't sell anything at all, that action goal of setting 15 appointments will teach you. Now you have something to talk to your mentor about, right, because you set 15 appointments. That's the job. Don't overthink it, okay? So set 15 appointments. You're going to remember the rest as you go. If you're doing telesales, minimum 250 rings a day per day. Anything less than that, and if you're not tracking it, you need to quit. If you're not ready, you're wasting your time here, okay? So set minimum action goals. If you conquer those goals, be proud of yourself. That means you win. Now, the pros, they're booking 30 appointments a week, okay? So if you want to be pros, you keep upping those minimum goals and setting those goals higher. But as long as you got to that goal, regardless if you made a sale, regardless if you didn't, that's a win. Pat yourself on the back. You're doing good because the rest of it's going to come by taking action. Okay. Number four. Number four. Remember the first three rules of insurance. You know, like the fight club. What's the first three rules of fight club? Don't talk about fight club. So this is the first three Here's rules. The first two. First three rules, right? First three rules of insurance is always be dialing. Okay. What's the second rule? Always be dialing. What's the third one? Always be dialing. Right. And so that leads me to the number five tip. The excuses we do in life and the excuses we do in this business that stop us from doing those first three rules of dialing, right? So a lot of times, if you're a manager, you're like, hey, I shouldn't be dialing because I'm doing, I need to help out this agent. No, you need to dial first. You need to get to your 15 appointments, 30 appointments. Until you do that, you're not doing anything else, right? If you're a new agent, you're like, man, I need to watch this YouTube video before I dial. No, you need to get your 15 appointments first. That's maybe fourth rule, sixth rule, seventh rule, okay? That, that, maybe we make excuses for... Like, oh, I got I to gotta learn about this IUL when it's dial time. No, that's for at 9 o'clock, right? So remember, your first rules are dial, dial, dial. Then you do everything else, okay? Don't get distracted by making those excuses and make yourself feel like you're working. Oh, I don't, I don't want to dial, so I, I need to do this. I need to learn about phone burner. No, start manually, dial, dial first, one, two, three, okay? Don't make those excuses. That's number five. Number six, underwriting simplified. I think the number one reason why, that's why you have the underwriting genie is because everyone's overwhelmed, right? I'm so overwhelmed. I just don't know what to write. Oh, my God, so confusing. Okay, this is simple. You want to get rid of the underwriting genie? You want to get rid of the cheat sheets? You want to get rid of everything all together and just start right now? That's how simple it is. Okay, Americo, that's the first one we get contracted with. Write this down. Eagle Premier. That's a whole life. It lasts your whole life. Okay, what's that mean? It's guaranteed to pay out, right? Yes. So cool. I'm just keep paying. Yeah. All right, so you got one product. Here's the second product. We got the Merico CBO 100. What's that mean? Cashback. They get all their money back. Okay, so can they lose money on both these products? No. Nope. Okay, Where best thing ever happens to get their money back. Best thing ever happens, the policy pays out. Zero loss on both products. If you can understand these two products, you're ready to go right now. Okay, so this is underwriting. Once you talk to the person, you go, hey, how many prescriptions are you on? And they go, six. Bam, right away I'm going whole life. So four or more, I'm writing Eagle. Three or less, I'm going CBO 100. Okay? If they can't afford, you know, 100,000 CBO, you drop it to 50,000. You drop it to 25,000. You're like, look, this is a free plan. You get 100% of your money back. Nothing to lose. Okay? So three or less medications, you go with the term. Four or more, go with an Eagle. Then you go on the Americo app. You fill out, fill out the first page. If it says not approved... Then you go with an accidental. That's it. You just got to go with three products. Okay, you're like, hey, 
you didn't qualify. So what we're going to do is start you with an accidental. The nice thing is, though, you do qualify for half a million dollars in coverage and it has return or premium too. So we're going to start you off with this one and then we're going to try again in a year. That's underwriting. As simple as that. So do not be a person that makes excuses that I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just taught you in one minute, stop overthinking it and go for it. All right, we got number seven. Remember that this is just a math game, okay? So, you, you know, I'm not more special than, than anyone else out there. The, the only difference is that I spend more money on leads. So your goal is, hey, let me spend 500 bucks on some leads. Get with your mentor. They're going to tell you what leads to buy. 500 bucks minimum because that gives me five chances. It's about $100 per presentation. So the presentation is giving the client options, okay? Did you want the 30000 or do you want the 20000 do you want 200000 Do you want 100000 They say yes or no. Well, it's going to take you about 100 bucks. So if I'm buying a lead for 5 bucks, right, and I, get, I spend 100 bucks, that gets me 20 leads. I'm probably going to have 10 people that don't answer, probably going to have 9 people that say, you know, I'm not interested anymore. And then you're going to have one person that's like, yeah, I actually want to hear a presentation, right? So if you're spending anything less than 500 bucks. Well, you know, you're not getting enough chances and it's going to hurt because if you're spending 200 bucks on leads, you only got two presentations that week, you're going to feel defeated. But if you had five chances that week and the first three said no, and you called your mentor and you learned something, you close the last two, you don't remember the first three, right? You don't remember that at all because you now you feel like a winner. So you got to set yourself up to win. Now, here's the goal. 500, 500, spend 500 bucks on leads, right? Once you get to three people protected in a week, which is the goal, now we're good, right? So you slowly just have to remember that this is just a math game. Once you figured out how to make three people protected off 500, just increase your lead exp leads and you're going to basically increase your activity. And now you're making what you made in a month in a week. It's really that simple. So all the top producers out there spending $2,000 a week, that's why their numbers are so big. They're not no more special than you. They're just using math to make more money. That's it. It's as simple as that. So let's go over these seven one more time. We got get out, of your, get out of your own head and start, right? Memorize your script. Set action goals for wins. It's not sales that make you win. It's action goals, completing those. Remember the first three rules of insurance. Dial, dial, dial. That's the priority. Everything else is back burner. Excuses we make in life and biz, right? Underwriting simplified. You can start right now. Okay, we got four or more. You're going with the eagle. Three or less, CB100. They don't qualify for accidental mutual vomit. Bam. Bam. And then remember, this is just a math game. I love it, bro. Well, dude, I appreciate you. It's been, a, uh, it's been quite a training, and I couldn't be more grateful to get into work with you, to get into learn from you, and to watch you continue to grow as a producer and now a rising star agency manager. So love it, man. Final, 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 final advice to send them off to the races as we close it out. Go dial the phone. Stop making excuses. Liver King out. <laughs>